Hi, I'm Walter Blanding from the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra. In this particular lesson, I'm going to tell you about scales and the importance of scales. I've been playing for 35 years and I still practice my scales. <laughs> Simple things are always best. Depending on your level of development, you can practice your scales many different ways. The most basic way is to just be able to play your scale somewhere around two octaves, depending on the range and where you start in all 12 keys, basic major scales. So you want to be able to do like this. Right? Basically, in all 12 keys, the same tempo, no mistakes, evenly. That's important. If you've gotten to the point where you can play all 12 major scales with no mistakes, it definitely does not mean that you've mastered your scales you may have just mastered that particular aspect of playing the scales. But from that point, you can challenge yourself and find different ways to still be able to practice the same thing. For example, you can play your scales in groups of two notes. Right? Or three notes. Or four. And so forth, five, six, and seven. Practicing your scales really helps for you to be able to kind of hear through changes, being able to execute when expressing your ideas through improvisation. You can take a song like the blues and play the scales over it, and it's very simple because there's only three chords, which means you'd be only playing three scales, like this. Right. So scales are very important for your development because they are the building blocks for understanding music and theory and harmony as well.